Okay, so we've got one or two quests to get done today. This is going to be the Howl of the Kubro. Now, before you start this, I do highly recommend that you have the uh, Mars Junction unlocked. This is because one of the rewards is the Incubator Power Core. Ordinarily, these require an Argon Crystal, and unless you have the Void unlocked, which is all the way over here, you can get it unlocked pretty soon. We just need to reach Phobos. We're a couple of planets away. Um, but right now we can't really farm them specifically. You can get them from like daily drops and they can also be gotten in sabotage missions from the caches, but they're like really rare and that's just not a reliable way to get them. So because of that, we are going to want this incubator core from the Mars Junction, which we've done here already, at which point we can now come over to our uh, quest list and we can start the Howl of so the Kubra. The so we're going to get on in here and this looks like it's going to be a survival down. mission, so nothing crazy to be reporting on. Let's just see this start up. Yeah, so we've got a five minute survival and then extract. This is going to be easy. So if you haven't done this before, just in case, I don't know what stage you guys might be at. The way this works is you can see we have the life support system there. That is going to go down over time. And the idea is as we kill enemies, they will drop life support systems and we need to collect them. In addition to this, the Lotus will also give us um, life support, I don't know what's supposed to be called, like conduit things that we can interact with for a boost in life support if we need it. But realistically, so long as you're killing plenty of enemies, this shouldn't be too much of a problem for you all. So I'm going to stay here five minutes, we're going to get all of this done, and I'll catch up with you then. Oh, mission complete, let's get out of here. Ah, nice little bit more standing, that's all good. I've also put a former on the vault for anybody following the series. Decided to half the drain from a shield mod. Okay, so after Hordus had his moan, we can go ahead and uh, insert the segment. Good. It's done. Now you just need a Kubro egg to We've got start loads. The process. Yes. You found a Kubro egg. Yes. Hordus will guide you through the hatching process. Yes. When right. Complete, so you will I've got loads because you can get them from my favorite mission on Earth. So I am going to go ahead and show you guys how we get eggs right now. Now, technically speaking, if all you care about is eggs, the best mission for this is going to be the exterminate missions, just because there's more surface area to them than doing a cap capture, in my opinion, and it's just kind of easy to run through the level and get the eggs. For that, you'll want to do E-Prime. This one is like on a like a mechanical ship type tile set, so it will need to be E-Prime. But I'm going to recommend that you do Cambria some more. Like, if you haven't done any Cambria already, you should come back and you should do Cambria. This still drops the eggs, and I'm going to go ahead and do another run of this right now, just so I can show you what they look like. Again, so when you're about on your mission, these are what we're looking for. You can usually hear them growl and do growl and bark and stuff. Uh, wherever you see Kubros, you'll see the den is where the den's going to be. And this is what drops the egg, so you need to break the den. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, so just double check it. We didn't get an egg there, it'll flash up on the screen when we do. Aha, we have another try here, let's check this one. See if this is the one. And there we have it, finally we have an egg drop. That took way more tries than I'm to admit. But uh, let me get this mission finished out and we will show what to do next. Again, so we've been and got our egg. Um, I've got like 13 of them now, that's probably a good number. So just so you're aware, there are a total of six species we get from this. Five are random. So basically we're just going to incubate this into one of the random Kubro. You can in fact see them all in the codex. Let me just bring them all up here so you kind of got, a, got an idea. Come down to this companions tab under universe. Whack Kubro in and you'll see that we have the five different Kubros here. I'm not convinced which one I think is the best. Like, let's say if you had to pick one to keep. Probably the Sahasa or the Sunica. I like both of those. But they're all good for something. They're not necessarily the best and they are very good for getting affinity. In addition to those though, you can also get a Helminth Charger by squeezing a zit into it whilst it's growing into a Kubro. Which is kind of interesting and disgusting at the same time. But basically there's a zit that goes around that comes from I think the Nidus Warframe. You'll see it sticking out the side of your Warframe if you've got one. Obviously I've not done very much multiplayer. And basically if you, if you squeeze the remnants of it into the uh, into the egg you can get a different type of one so six different ones now one of them is set okay so that one's the easiest one to get the other five are completely random so i'd recommend at least 10 
You want at least 10 eggs, realistically, in total, right? You don't have to do them all now. You could do one, and then farm a new egg, and then farm a new egg, and then farm a new egg. Whichever way around you want to do it, but you are probably going to end up getting a lot of these um, and turning them into Kubros. What we need to do now is we need to use our incubator core, which we got, and we need to begin the uh, incubation. This is for, if you happen to have uh, genetic codes from players, uh, this is a little bit more complex. And I haven't really looked into, like, different um, patterns and breeds, but basically you can customize how it's going to look when it comes out. But we're going to go with random incubation here. That's where we're going to be early game. This is also where I get the most tempted to start spending money uh, because we're going to want companion slots because, you know, these are pets and it's kind of nice. And now we just have to wait for it to uh, to cook. We've got two days and then we will have ourselves a Kubro. Again, so after a few days, you may have something that looks like this. This is a Rexa Kubro. They'll do different things. I can't remember each one specifically. You can get them all in the codex if you want to kind of double check. I'll probably end up keeping all of them. So at some point soon, I'm probably going to end up putting platinum into the game just because I don't like deleting my pets. Either way, at this point then, we need to go and get a collar. So when you interact with it, it's going to tell you that you can't equip it yet. So if we come over to the arsenal, for example, come into the followers here. Oop, into the followers here. See, rascal. We need to uh, come on missions yet, but we'll, we'll be able to roam around the, uh, the orbiter for a while. So what we need to do, we need to go and grab the collar. We only need to do this once, which is cool. Uh, there are like optional skin ones to make the kind of Kubo look real cool. But once we've done that now, we can continue the quest, which is going to be the plan here. So let's go and get this done. So let's get into the mission here. Uh, I, may, I may cut some stuff out. We'll just see what else is in here. It's been so long since I've done this mission. Now, there's going to be a bit of, di um, obviously a bit of disconnect here because it's a few days later. Of course, this captain now has the heck available. So uh, hope you guys don't mind that too much. But basically, we're going to get through the mission now, having the uh, Kubro survive, basically. So this is like a, a defense mission with a roaming target. You, there, are, there are actually more missions that will be like this later on. So I'm going to say, like, once you've got that done, just make sure you're still progressing. Make sure you've still got some good stuff building. Uh, the heck is actually really strong. I've said it before, but I feel like I really need to hammer it home. <laughs> when I've been streaming, a lot of people have been like, well, how do you get more damage? How do you get more damage? If you've got the heck, you shouldn't need more damage for a fair while. Like, most stuff just goes down pretty easily. And we're, we're ignoring things like damage types and stuff mostly at the moment as well, because we just want to have an easy time with it for, for now. We'll, uh, we'll probably talk about damage, like, once we've got access to more stuff on the system, because we just don't have that many strong weapons. We're not really very high in mastery rank. And we don't have access to all of the materials, which is a big thing. Really, really big thing that we can't we can't even build warframes right now, so we've got to get moving on that, really. We want to get the Kubro. This is going to be worth, like, I think it's 6,000 mastery rank to us once we get it done. And yes, this is just going to be straightforward defense, so I might as well skip forward. Yep, so yeah, after a short while, we just kind of leave. But the thing is, I actually got an extra Kubro egg. Uh, so, you know, getting around to different Kubros should be pretty easy for this character now. We're going to incubate our way through those. Uh, obviously, we can't start incubating them until we unlock the Void, which is this system node right here. You can see... We come to this from like several different directions. You've got a, a route here from Neptune down at the bottom, a route here from Sedna down at the top. The earliest one we can get is through Phobos. So once we have unlocked Mars, we can head through the top here to Phobos. There's not actually a junction for it on Phobos, so we just need to get through um, this Phobos junction right here. Obviously, this character's kind of a bit of a head now. Um, so we just need to get through this one, uh, and then we could start making our way around to the void area. The cool thing is, though, once we've done that, we actually have access, not necessarily the best access, but access to pretty much all of the different resources. We'll be able to get the uh, the control modules and the Argon crystals from here, which we need to get all of the companions, actually, now that I think about it, because that's the Sentinels and the Kubros. So the Void is going to be worth a lot of affinity to us in terms of materials. Plastids are on Phobos, so we can start building Warframes, which will reach that. As And we have Neurodes, Oricon cells, and Mutagen samples here. Uh, all of this stuff here is all going to be useful as well. Our, um, the Oricon cells are needed for a lot of weapons and Warframes as well. So we're going to be getting busy. I've also already unlocked Demos, but uh, yes, hopefully that helps you out. That is how we get the Kubro ready. And basically, if you want to build more, you just need to build the incubator with the Argon Crystal. Let me just show this. This one here, this is the incubator power course. You just come into Companion. It's pretty easy to find. Um, it's got quite expensive, 50k. But like I say, you need the Argon Crystal. Also, both of those drop on the Void. So yeah, we really need to get to the Void if we want more Kubro. Now that all that is spoken about and done, when it comes to using the Kubro, all we need to do, as we saw earlier, is come into the Arsenal, get the Raxa or whichever Kubro it is you got into your companion slot. Upgrading it is pretty much the same as the Sentinel. I don't know if the Sentinel gets 10 like the, uh, like the Kubro does. I can't remember now. Yeah, all the, all the uh, companions, they get 10. 10 slots. And realistically, you probably want to do something that's kind of survival. I happen to have Pack Leader here, so my, mem uh, my melee attacks will heal the Kubro. So with that being done, then I've gone ahead and put some Enhanced Vitality on. Have a look at the golden mods that the Kubro comes with. This will give you an idea as to what kind of things it's going to be doing. It's like to cause fear. This Kubro will come to protect me give me some shields if uh, if i'm in trouble apparently we'll see how that goes um so yeah hopefully that helps you out in using your kubo and i'll see you again soon